The history of Ukrainian church activity, Catholic, Orthodox, and Protestant, spends over 110 years in Canada. St. Vladimir's College was located on a 160-acre campus just outside Roblin, Manitoba. It is remembered as a Ukrainian Catholic residential high school and minor seminary for boys managed under the leadership of the Ukrainian Redemptorist Fathers for many years. Operated intermittently in the 1940s and early 1950s, then closed for several years, St. Vlad's was reopened with full accreditation in 1958 once provincial educational requirements were met. The college was most vibrant in the 1960s and 1970s when it could accommodate up to 48 boarders. In addition to meeting the objectives of the Manitoba High School curriculum, the purpose of the minor seminary was to first provide young men with a good knowledge and understanding of their faith, and secondly, to enrich the students' education through a program of traditional Ukrainian choral music, Ukrainian dance, Ukrainian traditional instruments, and the annual spring concert tour, which went through various parts of Canada and the United States. From 1963 to 72, the choir was instructed by Dr. Pavlo Matsenko, the highly respected musicologist on Ukrainian liturgical choral music, who had completed his studies in Prague and emigrated to Winnipeg in 1936. Ukrainian liturgical choral music was, of course, an integral part of the students' education at St. Vlad's. Благословений наш Бог повсякчасно, нині завжди і навіки. Слава тобі, наш Боже, слава тобі. Every Sunday evening, the students sang the Vespers that you just heard, often with Father Petro Romanishin as the celebrant. These Vespers were recorded in the early 1960s as part of a two-record set, which also included the choral works for Holy Week services before Easter. In particular, Holy Thursday Prayers, the Passion Matins, Spivani Mulitvi Utrini Strasti, and the Friday Jerusalem Matins, Jerusalemski Utrini Nehrobnui. Let's listen to a minute of the Jerusalem Matins. Jerusalemski utrenje. Slava svijeti, odno istotni oživljajući i nepodilni trojci, nini poksja čas i na vike vični. Flats College was run by the Redemptorist Fathers until the early 1990s, when they decided that they could no longer be involved in operating educational institutions. 
Then St. Vladimir's College was operated under the Eparchy of Winnipeg, but closed around 2004. What has happened to this property? In 2007, the Roblin and District Chamber of Commerce announced the sale of St. Vlad's College and the establishment of Continental College, an English second language school for Asian students, but it is not certain that the deal was realized. And what has happened to the students of St. Vlad's? Some entered the priesthood, but many more continued their love of music through participation in Ukrainian choirs, such as Winnipeg's Husli, and closer to home, Ottawa's Choir Accord, where Danny Lega is a prominent member and soloist, whom we've often heard on this radio program. Волею положився в гробі плотію, і в ощаді нада Христос істний Бог наш, молитвами причистія своєї матері, святе славних висиквальних апостол, преподобних і боносних отець наших, і всі святі помили спасет нас, як облаг і чоловіко любе. Here's what's coming up this week in Vancouver's Ukrainian community. On Friday, there will be a pierogi supper at the Ukrainian Community Society of Ivan Franko, 5311 Francis Road in Richmond, just off railway. Doors are open from 5 to 7.30 p.m. For more information, call the hall at 604-274-4119. And next Sunday, there will be a pierogi lunch and bazaar at the Ukrainian Hall, 801 East Pender Street in Vancouver. That's from 12 noon until 3 p.m. Sponsored by the Association of United Ukrainian Canadians. For more information, call 604-254-3436 or visit their website www.auucvancouver.ca. Sunday is the day for Ukrainian TV and radio programming in the Vancouver and Vancouver Island viewing and listening area. Two Ukrainian TV programs air on Channel M on Sundays, Svitolyad at 7 a.m. and again at 11.30 p.m. and occasionally at 4 p.m. on Fridays. As well, Contact TV airs at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Viewers in the Lower Mainland will find both these programs on Channel 8 and Islanders in Victoria and Nanaimo on Channel 10. Then in the afternoon, turn on your radio and tune in to Chetvertha Khvelya, the fourth wave, which now airs a full hour starting at 1 p.m. Join Pavlo's current guest hosts from Ukraine, Yuri Lubkovich and Andriy Zinchuk, for the latest in contemporary music from Ukraine delivered exclusively in Ukrainian. That's at 1 p.m. every Sunday afternoon on CJSF 90.1 FM or streaming live at cjsf.ca. Chetvert Akhvelya is archived online at the Nasholos website for 24-7 access between broadcasts. And at 6 p.m., flip your dial right back here to AM 1320 CHMB and join me again for another hour of fun Ukrainian style here on Nash Holos Radio. You'll find this week's upcoming events and much more on the features page at www.nashholos.com. 